Hey guys, welcome back to my Disney Princess series. Today we are on episode 19 of the Snow White Generation. Okay, so everyone is still asleep at the moment, but I just loaded into the game and Sleepy's chicken is actually dying. There she goes, off to the nether regions. <laughs> Off to the next life. Yeah, I think we should come and feed Emma's up. Let's come and feed all of these chickens. So yeah, that is now Emma's chicken and Nisa's chicken that have now died. So we now just have Sneezy, Dopey, Bashful, Grumpy and Happy. And I think Grumpy is uh, probably on their way out as well. Grumpy will be the next chicken to die, unfortunately. But here's Emma, come to feed them all now. And today is actually a really big day for Emma because today Emma should be hearing back from the estate agent with some properties for her to choose from, for her to move out of the family home and into her first home. So yeah, she's got the doctor's career and she's gonna move into her new home. And it's just gone seven o'clock in the morning. So we've got about an hour until these kids head out to school. Okay guys, so we just got a pop-up saying hard worker, easy friend. And it says that Esther just befriended a hardworking sim. And it's basically asking us if we would say that Esther likes hardworking sims. And we're gonna go ahead and say yes, that she does. Esther is our grumpy character and she just has no patience for laziness, especially seeing as her twin sister, Nisa, our sleepy character, is the epitome of laziness. She's super lazy and Esther just can't stand it. So Esther likes the hardworking people. She likes people that don't give her anything to be grumpy about. <laughs> and these kids are just around the table having a bit of breakfast, talking to their big sister Emma before they head out to school today and I think Emma's probably just enjoying this moment with her siblings even though she gets totally really annoyed with them I think she's gonna miss them you know it's bittersweet for her because although she's really looking forward to having her own place she is used to having a lot of family members around her and she's now gonna go from that to just living on her own so that's gonna be hard for Emma Okay, and all the kids can go to school on their own because we're going to need to stay with Snow and fix the house up. Oh no, we just got the notification for Grumpy that he's getting on in years and, you know, he's going to be heading off with Sleepy pretty soon. Okay, and it is gone at the time that the kids need to be going to school. That's why Snow has entered looking pretty grumpy. Hurry up and eat your breakfast and get to school right now, please, I think is what Snow would be saying to these guys. Apart from Emma, who is now an adult, and she's just waiting to hear back from her estate agent. Then I think whilst all the children are at school, we're just going to get Snow to to tend to her garden. What? Oh no, Grumpy's time has come. Grumpy's dying as well right this minute. Oh no, Grumpy, okay. Well, it makes sense that Grumpy would die on the same day as Sleepy since it's Nisa and Esther's chickens. Okay, so Esther has two different tests today and one of them's gonna be tough. There's not much time to study. Should she spend all of her time studying for the harder test or study for both tests equally? Uh, study for the harder one. Oh, she lost her school performance. No, that's not what we needed. Oh, and there goes Grumpy to the chick heaven in the sky. Okay, so Snow's just here tending to her garden. Then I think we'll have her change into the beekeeper suit and apply mite treatment to her bees because they're kind of irritated right now and we don't really want to get stung. These guys don't have mites, they're okay. Oh my gosh, guys, I was just looking at Snow's once and it says she wants to woohoo with the prince. Um, <laughs> yeah, but we're definitely gonna use protection if we do do that. <laughs> And she wants to level up in the gardening skill, which if, you know, if she keeps tending to her garden, that's totally gonna happen for her. Okay, we're getting a phone call. <gasps> Cinderella was caught cheating. Let her retake the test. Here we go, applying the mite treatment to our bumblebees. Oh, and now they're calm. We calmed them down, amazing. And we can also collect the beeswax and collect the beeswax from there too. Then I think we can remove the beekeeper suit and then bond with our bees try and make them a bit happier you know hopefully they won't sting us but maybe they will <laughs> what's gonna happen snow the bees loving us today yay these guys were pretty happy with us let's see about the second box are they gonna be happy with us they just had their mite treatment so maybe they'll be calm yay all calm with the bees we love to see it um there's a lot of laundry around on the floor so we're gonna go ahead and get snow to 
do the laundry. Also, I think we could sell these kids activity products because we could do with the money and we can also sell that beeswax that we got. One of our paintings on Plopsy has just expired and do you know what guys, our paintings have been on Plopsy for ages and no one is buying them. So maybe we should what i did in my other lp the grilled cheese challenge is we got a painting sales table and we actually made quite a lot of money that way so i might actually invest in a painting sales table and sell snow's paintings that way in fact yeah let's just go ahead and do it okay so we now have our painting sales table let's put that painting in there and then we're just gonna unlist the rest from plopsy and then we're gonna put those on there as well and then we'll have a yard sale and see if we can sell some stuff, get some money. The prince is here, we did wanna woohoo him. We still do wanna woohoo him. And we're doing the laundry, so I don't think we're actually gonna to get to him in time to invite him in. The woohoo will have to wait. We have got a lot of housework to do. <laughs> oh, and she's finished doing that, has she? Oh, well, maybe she can invite him in then. Oh my gosh, and we just got the pop-up for Paxton's birthday, which is actually tomorrow. It's Paxton and Dylan's birthday. They're gonna be aging up to teens, so that's exciting. Okay, so we just added the rest of the paintings to the sales table so snow's just gonna come out and stock the table now and then we'll have a little yard sale yay <laughs> no wonder nobody bought these paintings look at them oh these two having a little joke he's like look at you with your sales table trying to earn some money i'm really proud of you baby mark up the prices to 300 percent for maximum profit and then start a yard sale oh and all the kids just got home from school okay they all look really sad <laughs> Don't worry kids, it will be over one day. You won't have to go to school anymore. Here we are, we've got some possible customers. Hopefully these guys will be interested. Yay, and someone just bought one of our paintings for 800 simoleons, that's amazing. Look, we already had three grand already. That's really good because we could not sell these paintings at all on Plopsy. Nobody wanted them. <laughs> and whilst Snow is doing this sale out here, I've got all the kids working on their homework indoors. So it looks like they're gonna be even more miserable than they were before. Yay, and we just sold another painting for another 800 simoleons we're now on 4,000 simoleons in our household funds oh the phone's ringing oh it's the estate agent greetings miss white i'm happy to announce that i found some great quality houses that fit your profile you may check house listings on the real estate tab of your phone oh no anisa's having a mean streak but she's so chilled out how did that happen right so what was it emma had to do she had to check house listings maybe okay we're gonna try this one 152 honey Dew lane it says no bedrooms no bathrooms but oh wait actually home tours you and your realtor will need to visit each property you selected from your house listings and decide which ones make it to the shortlist. Depending on how many properties you selected, this could take some time. So make sure Emma White is available. Would you like to start your home tours now? I mean, yeah, sure, why not? Oh, wow, okay. So here we are. We've arrived at the home tour in Honey Dew Lane. The realtor said he's gonna get the door. Oh, look, how lovely is this for a newbie doctor to live in while she makes all her money? <laughs> Nothing seems quite real about Honey Dew Fields, but staying here forever feels like a real possibility. With the nearby Peppers Pub and Laurel Library, Honey Dew Fields is a great location for those on a budget who don't mind a bit of hustle and bustle from being close to the center of town. If you like what you see, make sure to add house to shortlist okay and we've got some goals here so decide whether to add house to shortlist appraise objects ask about appraised value these goals are optional but recommended to get more information about the property okay so let's take a look at the house Okay, so we've got this little alleyway entrance here and we come into a, the entrance hall here got stuff for a pet if she wanted to get a little cat then there's like this doorway that goes through to the open living room and kitchen let's take a look we've got the tv there oh yeah look cats definitely a cat person house we've got the tigers on the wall as well wow yeah okay downstairs bathroom there then we've got a little a little pool and then we've got this offset gym where she could come and work out after a hard day it's in the surgery and release some steam then we can go upstairs i think 
Emma's gonna love this house. I think it's perfect. Let's do some of this stuff. So appraise objects. Here she comes. We appraise the bed. Oh, we need to appraise three objects. So let's appraise this picture. Oh, look at her little glasses on the side of the bed there. So cute. Oh, sports day starting. We should probably get back soon. I guarantee Esther really wants to go to that. We've appraised two objects. Appraise this lamp. And yeah, we love the look of it. So let's go ahead and speak to the realtor and ask about the appraised value, just cause that's one of the goals up here. And then I think we're gonna go ahead and seal the deal guys. We're gonna buy the house. So here she comes to talk to him. She's like, I absolutely love the house. What is the value of this stuff? Okay, after careful evaluation, the lot has been valued at 85,785 simoleons or 23,000 if unfurnished. This is the value that will be used for any real estate transaction until another evaluation has been made. The appraisal process took into consideration the following items. So even like where the where we are, the location, education levels around here. We've got 33 degrees. This one's pretty cool. So then let's go ahead and make the decision. How do you feel about the property? Add the house to our shortlist. Okay, so 152 Honey G Lane has successfully been added to your shortlist. It looks like we're all done with these home tours, Miss White. Let's go home now and continue later with the negotiation process for the houses you've selected for your shortlist. I've only selected one house, but it's perfect for us, so we're going for that house. Okay, so now it says that we need to go back to check house listings on the real estate tab on your phone and select negotiation battle to start a negotiation for one of the properties you added to your shortlist well we only added one property so we are going to be battling for that emma did only get 70k from the bank but she she's going to go back and ask for more money so she can afford this property because she really really wants it okay and esther our grumpy dwarf is feeling very angry at the moment and i can't help but think it's because she really wants to go to sports day and we haven't gone so let's try and see if it isn't too late for that and we're gonna go with nisa because it's her sports day too who, even though she doesn't really like it she's really lazy but she kind of just goes just to support grumpy <laughs> okay so we it looks like we made it to the sports day here we are esther's gonna do some football practice with her sister nisa she loves this it's her favorite it's her absolute favorite as a grumpy hot-headed sim esther absolutely loves competitive sports and football is her favorite nisa not so much but you know she likes to help out her sister Yep, and she just got smacked in the face. You all right there, Nisa? Oh, Esther, you're spray painting the blimmin. That is really naughty, Grumpy, see? You you were grumpy, you couldn't come to sports day, and now you just come here and you start vandalizing the place. Your mum would be so mad at you. Look at Nisa doing a bit of cheerleading over there. Maybe she wants to join the cheerleading squad. I just thought since she was a lazy sim, she wouldn't want to do anything like that, but she's definitely picking up the pom-poms here, and she looks like she's having fun. Look, it looks like Esther's made a friend over here vandalising the other thing. Oh my gosh, they actually vandalised it really badly. Esther's getting pretty tired now, but I think she still wants to practice football with her sister. Okay, and everything's disappearing now. Nothing really happened and it all disappeared. Okay, and everyone's leaving. Guys, let's just go home. Okay, the girls are back home now from the awful sports day they just had. But I'm probably just going to go ahead and get everyone to bed now because it is nearly 11 o'clock at night. So I'm just going to do that and then we will catch up with you guys in the morning. It is the next day now, guys, and Snow is just doing some laundry as per usual. All of the kids are still asleep, but they will be getting up soon because they all have to go to school. Today is a big day at school for Nisa and Emma because they have their exams today and Emma gets to negotiate for her new house. And Snow has finished her laundry now, so we're going to get her to go ahead and hang that up. Okay, and I think the rest of the kids are just heading out to school now. New personality trait. Snow's been feeling cheerful lately. Um, okay. If it's in addition to her traits that she needs to have for the challenge, then yes. So now that the kids are at school, Snow can get on with her housework. She's probably going to do some more laundry and then we can get her to check on her garden. We've got bugs. Then while Snow is taking care of all of that, we could get Emma to phone the estate agent and we can enter the negotiation battle. Hopefully it's not gonna cost us more than what it says. 
Okay, so it says you and your realtor will need to visit 152 Honeydew Lane to start the negotiation battle. This will define the final proposed value of the property. Oh, so it could go up. And the outcome may vary in a lot of different ways. So make sure Snow White is ready for the task. Right, so she's definitely going to have to go back to the bank and borrow more money just in case. Would you like to start the negotiation battle for 152 Honeydew Lane now? No, let's borrow more money from the bank first. Okay, so Emma has already secured more finances and she now has 120 k to play with and get her house with now. So she's now ready to enter the negotiation battle. Okay, so we're back at the property and it says, this is it, we should approach them to start a negotiation battle oh god okay approach who who do we approach there's other people here seller this is the seller so we're like hey i would really really love to buy this property from you okay so start negotiation battle she doesn't like the decoration in her own house that she's selling okay we're gonna come and talk to this person oh maybe we had to speak to the realtor she doesn't look happy and we're like trying to start a negotiation battle with her i don't know guys do we think this is going well oh we've got bad sentiments about her anti-crush and we think she's immature okay well we tried to start a negotiation battle but she just went boxing we'll try starting another negotiation battle see if that works so Emma's like do we have a deal can I buy your house okay so you're about to start a negotiation battle this will be your last chance to back out until the negotiation is over so make sure you're ready would you like to negotiate on the furnished or unfurnished appraised value of the house furnished oh wow okay <laughs> this mod is deep <laughs> negotiation battles are a clash of wits where two parties try to consent on the value of a property in this tactical turn-based mini game it's a mini game you must make smart and reasonable offers that meet the expectations of your opponent all the while getting yourself the best possible deal the negotiation lasts for a total of three rounds each more competitive than the last Every round lets you and your opponent place one offer respectively. Both parties may also place a final offer any time, thereby leading the negotiation to an ultimatum. Either accept the offer or leave. That can be a big power play if you time it right, but could also completely ruin the negotiation if you do it haphazardly. So think carefully. A good realtor will give you valuable insight on the current state of the negotiation and provide comprehensive tips on how to proceed. Likewise, the opponent's realtor may pick up on your intentions too. So remember to keep their realtor rating in mind when you make your decisions. Okay, their realtor rating is really really good but so is ours their realtor has 25 years experience and ours has 29 so maybe we'll have the upper hand who knows i have no idea i've never <laughs> done this before this is like it's a mini game what's happening i don't know what to do okay so start round one okay so the appraised value and we've offered the exactly the appraised value for the house let's ask our realtor for advice i believe we should give them the chance to place the first offer miss white that way we get to know exactly what they're aiming for okay so skip we give you the honors of starting the negotiation oh my god we'd like to propose 97 as a starting point okay so we're on round two now anything can happen initial offers have been placed now it's time to plan and execute your course of action play it safe or risk everything for a better deal uh, like do we just accept the offer or do we try our offer let's ask the realtor for advice they're clearly bluffing with this 97 offer, Miss White. We could place a counter offer as low as 77,000 to call their bluff. Okay, so <laughs> from where we stand, oh, <laughs> that went really fast. We'd like to make an alternative offer for 85,000. This is the final round, okay. It's time to place your final offers. There's no room for mess ups. Let's start the final round. Okay, we're asking our guy for advice. 85 is a reasonable offer. With that in mind, we think we can place 84,200 as our final offer and still be within our price point. 84,200, okay, let's do this. Okay, and place offer. I think we both agree to these terms. Would you be willing to sign a contract right now? Yay, and the negotiation has ended and we settled on 85K. 
I think that was a decent deal, Miss White. It could have gone better, but it also could have gone worse. We now need to go home and handle the closing process. Okay. Oh, this is fun. I recommend this mod. Okay, so we are back home now and we need to go ahead and start the closing process for 152 Honeydew Lane. Okay, and they want us to pay 4% in good faith before starting the closing process. Okay, I mean, we're going to go through with it, so... Oh no, it took it out of our household funds. <laughs> We'll have to put our money back. <laughs> okay, so yeah, we're gonna split the household, select the Sims who will split from the Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs household and move into 152 Honeydew Lane. So that is just gonna be just Emma. Okay, so we need to transfer the funds out of Emma's bank account and into the household funds. Okay, so Sim National Bank, withdraw money. And we're gonna take 120K. Okay, there's only 20 pounds left in our bank account now. Okay, so check house listings, closing process, Honeydew Lane, split the household so it's just Emma to pay the cost of the home, then the realtor commission fees, and then additional closing fees, and submit. You are now the proud owner of 152 Honeydew Lane. Check out the Manage Properties option on the Real Estate tab of your phone to see what you can do with your brand new property. Okay, so yeah, split from household and move. And how much money did we have? Well, it took out like, what, 3,000 something. So Emma's gonna take 15,000. Yeah, that looks about right. Okay, off she goes. Bye. Oh wait, are we going with her? <laughs> so here we are. Emma has moved into her new home. This is Emma's new house. And I think that she will be very happy here. She has no power at the moment. She has to set up the bills and she's gonna get the full welcome home package. And there you go, she now has power in her new home. And it looks like she's settling in really nicely. So we're just gonna go ahead and leave Emma to settle into her new house and wish her luck on her journey of life. That is our first dwarf, all aged up, moved out. She's got a career, she's got a house. I think she's gonna be very happy. And of course, we can pop in and see how she's doing at any time. Okay, bye Emma, we're gonna miss you, bye. And we are back in the Disney Princess household. One person down. We now only have seven Sims in this household and we now only have six children in this household. So hopefully things will be maybe just slightly less chaotic than usual. <laughs> but that does open up a space in the house. So maybe that means that Snow and the Prince can finally get married and he can finally move in and help out with all of his children and, you know, just have a bond with them. <laughs> Snow is just tending her garden, but it looks like the bees have got mites again. So she's gonna go ahead and change into the suit and apply mite treatment. Okay, and Esther is home from school now, but she's about to head out to her football practice. And the exam results are in. Nisa aced it, amazing. How about Esther? Oh, we don't have one for Esther. <laughs> I'm sure she did great. <laughs> and we're gonna try and get Snow to bond with the bees again. Try and keep them happy so they don't attack us all the time when we're in our garden. <laughs> And they hate us, they're attacking us. Oh dear, oh dear. <laughs> Try these guys, maybe these guys won't attack us. Yay, they didn't attack us. All the kids are inside doing their homework, so Snow's going to try and sell these last two paintings, see if we can get a bit more money. Here comes some people now. Yay, and the big, <laughs> the big ugly painting went. Just one more painting left to sell, but Snow's left the, the sales table. She finds it hard to stick around. She can't really help it. She just hates strangers. She's literally only doing this for money. Oh, wow. Nisa has been invited to the school's honor society, a privilege extended only to the highest ranked students. Congratulations. Well done, Nisa. I thought that would have been Emma, you know, but apparently that's Nisa. <laughs> Yay, and I think we might be about to sell this last painting and it's gone. Poor Nisa's acne has gotten really, really bad, bless her. So we're just getting her to come to the sink and apply a facial cleanser. And then we're gonna get her to conceal her 
her acne because she really wants to go on a date with again with Cameron and she wants to see him she hasn't seen him in a while and you know she just really like to see him again but she's just feeling a little self-conscious about her acne at the moment it has gotten quite bad bless her so she's just doing what she can to try and fix that and then conceal it and yeah she has managed to conceal it quite a bit you can still see it but you know it's not as bad as it was before so let's get her to ask on a date and of course she's gonna ask Cameron and we're gonna head out to Windenburg and we're gonna go to this teen hangout here Okay, so we have arrived at the teen hangout here with Cameron, our date. He's just ran away from us, so that's not a great start. <laughs> oh, he's coming back. He's coming back, guys. He came back. Yay. Aww. And I think Nisa's like, hey, I'm so happy. Oh, she got a negative emotional control right then. But she's like, hey, I'm so, so happy to see you. I'm sorry I haven't seen you since last time. There's been a lot going on with my family. My big sister just moved out. She just bought her first house. So, yeah, it's been crazy up at my house at the moment so it's really nice to actually come out here and see you and chill out for a bit so let's go ahead and sit down somewhere and hopefully guys this date goes well because Nisa is actually experiencing a mean streak at the moment so hopefully she's not mean to Cameron okay so Cameron's coming to sit and talk with us and I think you know we're here on our own it might be a good time to get a little flirty since that's one of the goals too Aww. and Cameron is accepting Nisa's flirtation and also we're gonna tell him a funny story because we have got a really funny but lazy personality and we think that he'll like our personality it's not just all about flirting guys we're getting to know each other too on a level and hopefully we're not being mean to him <laughs> yay and we have got gold already oh my gosh these guys getting up all close and personal i think they are really getting on i don't know are they boyfriend and girlfriend already if not they totally should be let's try and make out with him and see if he does that with us oh high school sweethearts i wonder if they'll last and be together forever or whether this will be just you know one of those fling things but they seem pretty into each other though so i'm sure this will last the distance <laughs> and i think these guys would start to have a bit of a serious chat and probably nisa would be asking cameron you know are you seeing anyone else you're a really hot guy all the girls like you at school i just need to know is it oh and he was getting bored with that conversation oh my gosh did not like that okay i think i might have ruined the vibe for these for the date for these guys and it's getting pretty late actually guys it's 10 o'clock at night so niece look she's looking at her phone her mum's probably been texting her like where the hell are you it's really really late you need to get home right now and she has already passed gold for the date so we're probably going to go ahead and end the date already before she starts being mean to him <laughs> then we're going to go ahead and get nisa to go home get her to bed get everybody else to bed and catch up with you guys in the morning it is the next day now guys and snow is just tending to her garden this morning most of the kids are still asleep but today's a very special day for paxton and dylan because today is their birthday and those those two boys will be aging up into teenagers today so pretty soon I'm probably gonna get snow to go ahead and bake a cake and it is Saturday so I think we can get Esther and Nisa to take their aptitude test today register for academic aptitude test okay so Esther just registered for that and I think she's off to go and do that right now Nisa's not awake yet so we'll get her to do hers when she wakes up and Snow is just baking a cake for the boys birthday today I think we're gonna go ahead and take them out bowling for their birthday yay and the cake is ready Nisa is awake now so we're gonna go ahead and get her to register for her academic aptitude test as well so she's probably going to go off in a minute and do that and while the teens are out doing their academic aptitude test snow's just gonna pick up a bit of laundry here and do that oh my gosh what's happening all the phones are ringing what's happening death is inev inevitable esther knows that esther just doesn't think that she would be thinking about it so soon there's still so much to do how will esther get everything done if death is just around the corner is it safe to just hide forever oh my god what's happening 
Oh, the evil queen has passed away. Oh, wow. And what? All of them are sad about it? Guys, the evil queen is evil. Oh, but I suppose family's family at the end of the day. I guess they're all still going to be sad about it for a while. Two days? Oh, my God. Now she's got a fear of death. And she's at her academic aptitude test and she's got all of this to deal with on her shoulders. They've all got blue emotions from being sad. No. Paxton and Dylan, it's your birthday today. Don't be sad. Hopefully when we take them out bowling for their birthday treat, that will cheer everybody up. Apart from Snow, who won't be going because she hates leaving the house and she hates strangers. So she'll just be chilling at home. Oh, and look, all the kids are here together, really sad, talking to each other about the loss of their grandma mother that actually none of them even ever knew because Snow White would not wish that on her children for them to know their evil grandmother she was evil guys don't be sad okay <laughs> and snow's finished her laundry so we can get her to hang these clothes up now yay and esther and nisa just got back home from their academic aptitude test so let's take a look nisa passed it she received a major performance boost as well as a boost in responsibility and esther passed it too and she got the same amazing these guys just both smashed their academic aptitude test well done we are doing a great job of bringing up all of these kids <laughs> but it is Dylan and Paxton's birthday which means it is time for us to go out and celebrate with them for their birthday treat so Esther and Nisa are going to go ahead and take all the kids out okay and we're gonna go with my half birthday because it's a birthday celebration where you don't have to age up yet which is ideal for us because we're gonna save the aging up for when they are back home with their mummy so she can be there to witness it and we are gonna go to the bowling club okay so we have all arrived at the bowling club well most of us prince charming didn't bother showing up to his own kid's birthday but that's absolutely fine that's just like him so even our friend katie showed showed up isn't she cute and at least emma came as well i mean they're all miserable because their evil nan just died but we're here and we're gonna celebrate the birthday oh and here everyone comes now into the bowling alley <laughs> they're so sad all of them hopefully this will cheer them up they are so sad see this is just typical of the evil queen to go ahead and die on her twin grandson's birthday so everyone's really sad and not thinking about the birthday at all and here they go to play a game oh i think they're queuing up i think the little ones are queuing up to play and rachel just acquired the bowling skill good for her she's giving it another go she's the only one giving it a go at the moment oh no look here goes nisa she's giving it a go too <laughs> let's look from this side so we can see what's happening yay and nisa just acquired the bowling skill as well and so did esther and it says celebrate dylan's birthday yes that is exactly what we are doing right now we are bowling oh the prince did turn up look he's over here talking to someone else but he did turn up to the birthday so that's something oh and here goes esther go on esther yes she knocked them all over well done oh look and emma is finally taking her shot at bowling boom oh she got all of them except one but that's still good and she's doing a funky little dance to celebrate <laughs> oh my gosh look at this werewolf just chilling he's raging but he's just sitting down chilling having his cup of tea bless him yay and esther just hit bowling level two go girl and here goes esther again boom she smashed that one Oh, and we just missed Cinderella's go, but she didn't knock them all over. Oh, she's so sad. It's okay, Cinderella. You'll get another go. You're new at this. You're just learning. You'll get the hang of it. Look, watch Nisa, your big sister. She can't even do it either, so it's fine. See? It's okay you didn't knock them all down. Yay, and see, Cinderella, you just acquired your bowling skill. So once you practice a bit, you'll be as good as Rachel. Look, watch Rachel. Oh, wait. Yeah, I forgot she was dopey. <laughs> oh my gosh, a vampire just showed up. What is going on? This is a bit chaotic here, but we are out with a lot of people. Okay, and it's Nisa's go. And yeah, she knocked one down again. <laughs> She's not very good at this. Esther's game is finished and it says she bowled a game of 102. I don't know if that's good or not. Oh my gosh, guys. And it says the rumours are true. Cameron Goff wants to go to the prom with Nisa White. Will she go? Of course she's going to go to the prom with Cameron. Oh, bless. Not right now, though, because it's her brother's birthday. She'll be going to the prom next week. <laughs> 
just before she ages up into a young adult. Oh yay, and oh no! It's Dylan's birthday and he tried to take a shot at the bowling and it didn't work out for him. Poor baby. Oh my gosh, and Cameron's here. He just arrived. Nisa, you must be so happy. Why don't you say hi? Okay, it is getting pretty late now and these guys are still out. It's gone 8 o'clock at night and these guys still need to get home and age up with their mummy's cake. So I'm going to go ahead and get them all to get home now. Yay, and we got a gold medal for the half birthday. But for now, let's get everybody back. Okay, so we are back home from the birthday event. Let's go ahead and get the boys to age up. Okay, so it's going to be Paxton first, who's aging up, who is our bashful character. Here he goes, blowing the candles out. Oh my gosh, look at him. Look, He looks just like Prince Charming. And he's earned a bonus trait. So yeah, Paxton is bashful. He's shy. He's a loner. We've already given him the loner trait. So... One of you guys said in the comments to give him the socially awkward trait when he ages up because he's so shy and bashful so he would definitely 100% be socially awkward so we're going to give him that trait. And I think for now that's all we're going to give him. I might give him some more when we do his teenage makeover but for now I'm just going to leave him with these two. And because he's shy and bashful we're going to make him a computer whiz. So Paxton always just likes to be on his computer and he likes to make friends that way rather than in person okay amazing here's Paxton look at him <laughs> I cannot wait to give him a makeover but for now we need to make sure Dylan gets over here and ages up too <gasps> no someone's gonna take some birthday cake don't do oh no Rachel oh dopey by name dopey by nature she totally just took a piece of that cake snow quick because we can't have the same situation we had with the girls where they end up being one's a day younger than the other one at the moment so snow quickly let's come and bake a cake <laughs> oh man i can't believe the kids did that that was so annoying before we could even get the candles lit as well poor dylan over here is like my twin brother is a teenager and i'm still a child what is happening look he's so sad eating his cake like why am i still a child mommy hurry up and make that other cake because i want to be a teenager like my twin brother hopefully we can get it all done before midnight guys oh my gosh we are on a time crunch it's already half past 10 nearly we are not loving paxton's outfit right now yes the cake is ready quickly put it down okay 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 light the candles here he comes it's half past 11 can we age up before midnight here he goes making his birthday wish and dylan is our sneezy character so i'm not sure what we can give him that will represent sneezy <laughs> Apart from, yeah, squeamish, what we've already given him. I guess we could make him highly sensitive. I mean, it's his nose that is highly sensitive. But uh, we're going to make him a child of the nature, even though he's probably, like, very allergic to the nature. <laughs> oh, feeble. There we go. You can have feeble. And then, again, we're probably just going to leave it as that until I do his makeover. And we can give him an aspiration for wellness, seeing as, you know, they're always sneezy and they want to be well. <laughs> okay and there's dylan all aged up the teens are now all aged up i cannot believe it but yeah guys i'm probably just going to end this episode here and we will make over the teens ready for next episode but guys thank you so so much for watching episode 19 of the disney princess challenge the snow white generation so so much has happened in this episode <laughs> But I'm super happy and excited to get into the next one. If you guys enjoyed this episode, then please don't forget to like and subscribe. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye.